Hi everyone, I'm Matt. I'm David. And we are two nerdy idiots who are about to make a difficult moral decision. Yep. And that's Pavardi. Yep. Who seems to be letting us make all the decisions here. Alright. <sighs> so, redirect power or plant status? Well, first let's check the plant status. We are operating at 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater Saltuna Cannery and the Botanical Lab. Warning. Structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Alright, so it is currently going to both places, but... So let's redirect the power. Wait. Uh, Did it not let us pick where it goes? Oh, wait. Warning. Safety failures detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Warning. Redirecting power is an irreversible process. Processing error. Power redistribution has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. There you go. Now that'll probably be what tells me to go downstairs. Yep. Then. Okay, so yeah, good thing I came back to do that real quick. That'll be easy enough. Sure. I'm. Well, I mean, I guess you are an engineer, so. And so, there's switches. I mean, how hard can switches be? I mean, you never know. I feel like the first one's right in there. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll find out. Oh uh, yeah, so it's uh all right. two more. You know what? That what was pretty easy. They die. Yeah, I, I think you know the answer to that. You know the answer, Pavardi. Oh shit. That's on account of how I never met her. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh hard to miss what you never knew. I don't ponder it over much. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. Whew. So when wow! That same here. Oh, wow. wow. So your kids are owned by the company. Wow. Oh, look, our perception is not high enough for that. So we need better perception. Yep. That's what we should work on next, then. Perception. So, yeah. So nice to see that does come up in uh, conversations as well. Uh, I mean, that is not... That's not normal. No. <laughs> That's kind of horrible. Yeah. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math high level stuff better to raise me on his time than hers yeah we'll talk about this later but we need to talk about the facts of life yep you know the fact that i feel less and less bad about what we're about to do oh, i don't want to go in this creepy place what that's not oh, oh that's higgins he's still alive higgins I read your uh, your stuff, but first let me check, make sure there's nothing on this ledge. It okay. was a little derivative. Needed better plot points. Yep. Get away. But I am, I'm, I'm impressed. Also, you're leading me down into like basement levels, and I don't like that. I mean, to be fair, the objective marker is leading you into basement levels. True. Higgins. I mean, I, I technically wouldn't know. But, you know, the subtitles are telling me, so... That's true. I imagine you don't want to walk through the gas. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah. Thanks. Kind of figured that out on my own, but, uh... Take it out! Ah! There's more! There's always more. Yeah, we're good. It's literally just me and you. And me. I'm doing all right. <laughs> True. She's seeing through the fourth wall. Okay. Thanks for asking, David. Sorry. Uh, hey, right, look at that. You shut off the steam valves. Yeah. And I used engineering. See? I I'm learning. I'm learning. So can you go down that hallway now? 
Ooh. A shovel. Nice. That way we can start digging uh, graves to rent out the people. Ooh. Oh, you can repair your armor. Yay. I don't have to wait till I uh, get to my ship. Yeah, I guess I'll just do all. All right. Did you repair your guns too? Oh yeah, I should probably uh, do that, huh? Probably a little bit. Yeah, seeing as that's down the 63. Oh, I guess I should make sure I have enough. Uh... Yeah, you got you got plenty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It'll take you down kind of low, but you're still good. Yeah, we'll find more. I guess I could break down a bunch of these. Uh. Yeah. The only one to not break down would be the, uh, that, I think, the, the sword and the electric gun. Yeah. Uh, I guess let me just, I believe it's all just the basic stuff we've already, uh, but just to make sure nothing's, uh, better. So we're at 110, 231, and 71. So those are the light assault rifles, yeah. shotgun again, light machine gun. Uh, yeah, I don't really think. Uh, energy pistol. Yeah, I don't think we're really uh, got to worry about it at the moment. No, not really. Right. You can go ahead and hold it square and break it down piece by piece, it looked like. True. Uh, let me just make sure it's not a. Uh... Because what? Hers... She uses she uses that pistol. So one twenty two. One twenty two. So it looks like it's just the same. Oh, okay. Twenty two damage. Eighteen. Yep. Yeah. Stagger, same. So okay. So yeah. So exactly the same. Uh. Yeah. I guess I can. I just don't know if it's any different than. Yeah, I have no idea. Doing it at the workbench. It's time to start breaking it down for them weapon parts. Yeah. So keep that. So keep that. Keep that. Should I keep a shotgun? If you want. Yeah, just in case. You never know. Might be certain enemies that it's uh, quite handy for. Goodbye, weapons. Yeah. We don't need you. You're weighing me down. Both literally and literally. Bye, shovel. We hardly knew ye, shovel. Okay. There we go. We're much lighter on our feet. Better in which to uh, go after Higgins. Oh, it's just an ashtray. Uh, we got a ladder. There is a ladder. What's up the ladder? Looks like the switch. Oh, that is true. Switch number two. If we send the it looks like there's another the veil, way up here. What happens to the veil? You, you again. again, you know what happened. Yeah, it just looks like it goes around. Yeah. Okay. So if you didn't have the engineering to get to the steam, you could still technically have gotten to the yeah the workbench. That's good. Yeah, so you gotta go through that door. Uh, Robots! Oh no, that's not Higgins on the ground, is it? I hope not. He hasn't shouted in a while. Oh god. Oh god. Bullet time! Oh, we're trying. Pavardi! She's looking weak, David. Yeah. I don't know how to... She just heals over time. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, we'll take it easy for a little bit, you know? We'll, uh... We'll loot. Check all these bodies. Yeah, right, and it wasn't him. Because I would imagine it would have his name on it. Yeah. It's like, I would like to think they wouldn't just kill him like that when you heard him shouting. Right?
That would be the hope, anyway. Yeah. I want to know what he has to say. <sighs> but... Well, yes. that body's missing a head. Yeah. You know. Why are robots decapitating people? What are, what are the robots going to do with a severed head? What aren't they going to do with a severed head is the question. Fuck it. I mean, they, maybe they play sports with it. Oh, uh, like severed head soccer. Yeah. They see us kicking random, like, round balls around, and they just think, you know, mm -hmm. what's really mm -hmm. the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, well, there's the last switch. Yeah. Do I really want to do this now? I mean, I guess there would be more steps involved. Well... I mean, we could technically just leave and just... Never come back. Yeah. And let them figure it out on their own. But do you really want to... Oh! Uh-oh. I actually can get through some of these barred doors. Nice. Yeah, you unbarred it. Yay. Um. Yeah, so that brings us back out here. Yeah, what's through that barred door over there? Uh, oh, that is true. Uh, that might be the other one I found. Yep, that is the other one I found. Nice. Uh, well, look, we fully explored this area then. Yeah. But it hasn't led me to Higgins. Maybe he'll be back up at the top when you when you get up there. Maybe. Because I'm pretty sure you've gone everywhere. Not positive, but pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that's the workbench. Uh, hmm. I guess so. Yeah, I think you're good. So just head on out and... We'll condemn an entire community to death. Yep. And if not, then we'll run around real quick just to see if we can find Higgins. Alright. There's no going back. Yeah, I'm aware. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Yes. Do you understand what you're about to do? Fully. Let's hear your opinion. I, cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cool. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know. Mm-hmm. They don't deserve to be punished. Now hear me out. Hear me out. They can live happy and with food in their bellies, farming, rather than just eating salt tuna all the time. Yeah. Uh... I'd go with two or three. Yeah. Let's see what she has to say about the deserters. Mr. built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's... Plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Try number two. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd mm -hmm. remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going with number two, right? <laughs> no, but it's hilarious that it's an option. Really? 
I mean, wow. And we just want you to come with us, Pavardi. No I know. Told me those words in that order. Also, why? How did you talk to us from all the way down there, so close to us? Wow. So what are we doing, David? Because I feel more conflicted now. I know she really made this harder. Like, um, because obviously Tobson's a piece of work. Yeah. To me, like, I would like to just send the workers here, like. But I don't know if they would do that, and then obviously Space's choice isn't going to uh, be happy with that. But I doubt. But I also can't just screw over these people. Yeah, it's like, do I hurt the community who just wants a better life for themselves, who hate the town, or do I help the town in the hopes that they'll become better people? Yeah. Uh, we know, obviously, by uh, redirecting it to the town, nothing's going to change over there. Like, we'll hit redirect power. Old dickhead will keep doing what he does. Continue. And now you have to pick. Yep. Are we going to send it to Edgewater? Or the Botanical Laboratory? I mean, I think I know what we're doing. But... What are we doing? What are you doing? This is your playthrough. Yep. Alright, so you chose the deserters. Alright. You know, if we just stay here, we don't have to go live with our consequences or anything. Hey, we get to your tree. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. I mean, hopefully they'll go to the laboratory. Yeah. Like, I didn't blow up the town. Yeah, I'm really hoping they give me the option to, like, be like, hey, come here. Or, like, tell the leader here, like, hey, why don't you bring in those old workers? And not just, hey, we're just going to leave and y'all can just... Start Bend for yourselves. Figure it out. Oh, that's... There's the bottom door. Alrighty. Moment of truth. Ooh. A plasma cutter. That looks cool. It slices. It dices. It yeah. cauterizes. It's a lightsaber, pretty much. Yeah. But might be the best thing I've seen so far. Other than alien sphincter. Yeah. A, B. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, A, B. Maybe. Murder. David climbed the murder train. Yep. They sure made sure of it. Uh, I think you can fast travel to Edgewater. Yeah. Yeah, fast travel to... Nope, not them. You have to go get your... Oh, yeah, your, that's uh, right. It's over here that I gotta go get. Yeah, you have to go get your thing. All right. Oh! The Raptodon. It spits acid. Yeah. Protractile venom gland. That's terrifying. Yeah. It's like a piranha? Yeah. Or is it like a bat? I don't know. It only shows its head. Yeah, it only shows the head, but the way the neck and the torso look, it's not a fish. No, it definitely looks more like a walking... It's, a, it's an abyssal chicken. <laughs> I mean, unless it being named Wrapped, I'm assuming, you know, definitely some type of ferocious land creature. <laughs> Alright. Hey, guys. We're back. How's it going? You guys look great with no power. I'm not gonna have to dark tower this town, am I? Hello? Are you still there? Oh no! Really? Oh no! Really? They're trapped inside their doors! Uh, oh no! That is an aspect I did not consider. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Hey, hey, Conrad. I can't possibly cut anyone's hair in the dark. 
I mean, go outside in the sunlight. Go ahead. I think I already talked to you. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just go get the power regulator and get out of this sad, depressing town. <sighs> Y'all not even gonna say nothing. Yeah, gotta keep our heads up. Move along. Move along. You're not a big drinker, are you? No, I just want to see if anybody. Gone. Law knows how long. Looking to get drunk? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Obviously. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's <laughs> choice. Of course, that's their slogan. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're the best company ever. <sighs> Why am I yawning? I don't know. I have been to. This is one of those days, David. Yep. See how that's any of your business. Just, just trying to be polite. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. I mean, maybe it's because you're so enthusiastic. <laughs> choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. I mean, I happen to know a good, uh, in the sciences once good alternative. Time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. I mean, there's a nice little botanical lab you might uh, be interested in checking out. Yeah, you're not wrong. She's gonna have to anyway. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. Did you, though? I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask wow. the questions I want. Important ones. Like, when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero-G? No. I feel like, yeah, asking questions Ooh. is... Yeah. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Not Never company was. space work, but space lab work. put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. Okay, now I'm not sad that we destroy the town anymore. Yeah. Uh... Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. Oh, God. So, I mean, I could mention destroy. the fact that the power is not coming back. So maybe you should look into that whole science thing. I'll tell you some other time. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. That right. Prove it. Uh, you know, it might be ancient. <laughs> I'm an alien spirit of pure ether inhabiting a human body to learn your guide. <laughs> I would go with that, but she seemed relatively nice. She does seem nice. But I also don't know if I want to drop the whole... Uh, Colony ship thing? Yeah, just in case they come looking for uh, payback. True. Sounds as if you've been keeping questionable company. Or spinning a tail? You're Told right. You. I don't believe you. I'd advise you to keep that story unsaid. Don't want people thinking you're a loon. Whatever. Huh. You can really push this conversation, can't you? I can, apparently. So what if I told you I just got shot into space by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three-drink minimum. Uh... <laughs> I, just, just go with number three. Just go with number three. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero-G. No, you Anyhow, shouldn't, honestly. Whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. Mm. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Yeah, let's leave Kim. I don't care. Yeah. This was more conversation than I was expecting us to have, David. Yeah... I just wanted somebody to like mention the fact that the power is out, but probably if you get to the objective marker, they'll 
yeah. mention the powers out. So far, uh, outside of that one sick person, uh, everybody's definitely just kind of standing around. All right, nobody's about to jump out at me, are you? No, they're gonna leave you alone, probably. Just gonna stroll on in here and uh, take this thing you don't need anymore. I wonder if this is the... That's uh, the extra meat. Yeah. It's not Saltuna. It's Sprat. Well, at least it's not, at least it's not person. I was really thinking it was people meat. Yeah. You know. Makes me feel at least a little bit better. Yeah, it's still a shitty company, but... At least you haven't gone that badly. Oh, wow. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never mm -hmm. knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Honestly, you. Yeah, you. You're, you're the main reason, because you're a douche. So I guess to teach you a lesson? I guess. I don't really like... It's not like the whole story, but it's, you know... It's not wrong. It's the only one aimed at him, though. Yeah. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Okay, do we get to elaborate? You're all slaves to Spacer's choice. I know he's gonna have a rebuttal. Yeah. You ready to feel bad about your decisions, David? Nah, I'm just thinking of which ones to say. Because, like, this one is true. He deserves what's coming to him. But I don't feel that way about the other people. <laughs> so... I guess we'll start with this one. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The yeah, only home I've what I expected. I put down roots here. Gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted there with it orders goes. to fire on you. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I suggest we do that. Yeah, because, uh... I'm not about to start sucking up to him. No. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Hey, level six. Oh, okay. So you got to go pick up the power regulator. So you, so you had to listen to all that. Yeah, that's right. Y'all better walk away. You could have taken them. Yeah, it's only four. And y'all are people. Oh, okay, five. Still, me and Pavar already got this. All right, go get the regulator so we can get out of here. Yeah, I think we've uh, seen enough of this crappy little place. I got some more of them. All right. Coolsies. Well, at least you're still hanging with me. That's good. You can level up, by the way. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so, we so were looking perception at... was the big one. Yeah, which is. Huh. I don't see it. Is it tied to something else? Um, let me look it up. Yeah, it's weird that it keeps coming up, and yet it's not immediately an option that I'm seeing. Outer Worlds. Perception. Um... Da, 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 da. Oh, here it is. It's one of these. Uh, 
So it's part of your mind. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's right. Cause that's what I. Uh, those are like the ones you had to pick from the very beginning. Mm. Remember, we set our charm the high, our intelligence the high. So I added a little bit to this just because it was, you know, but it it kind of mostly just points out like how it affects your, you know, yeah. guns and stuff. I didn't realize it was going to be... And maybe we can up it with perks or stuff later, but go ahead and just do your perks and your skills real quick. Yeah. Sorry. So we can keep going. Don't want to spend more time on this planet than we already have. We spent so much time here. Yep. So I guess now I do have to actually do all those uh, individually, even that makes sense. Yeah, since they're both at 50. Yeah. If you bump that up to 60, you get a thing with the three points. Yeah. Uh, hmm. So, coward target armor, scrambled, auto chemicals attack at their normal speed, terrified creature movement speed, minus 30. So, yeah, we definitely, uh... Then you want to put the others towards just, uh, stealth, so you can get better lockpick, the last four? Yeah, might as well. Start improving that. Sounds good. You get a perk? Yeah. Alright, so what do we got? What do we got? Uh, so those are the ones we got. Uh, fifty percent health wouldn't more. be a bad choice. You have to get five, five. perks first. Okay, so yeah, fifty percent health, uh, technical time, meter max. Yeah, damage. We're not yeah. alone, so that's so, not what we need. Walk speed, not a really big deal. Sprint speed. Yeah. Durability loss goes down. So that awesome. could be good. Yeah. Um, so, because we have Pavardi with us, that would be good. Yeah. Armor goes up. Hmm. Vendors More or... vendor stuff. Carrying capacity 50 kilograms. Recharges faster, your time thing. And, then and vendor there. prices go down. Yeah, so I think. Yeah. I guess we'll start with health. Alright. Sounds good to me. Since it is starting to get to the point where I'm taking a bit more damage. Right. So uh, apply. Yep. Alright, so that's what, our third? Mm -hmm. right, so, so two more and we'll get to the... At level 10, we'll unlock it. So level 12 will be the first one we can do a tier 2. Yep. Alright, so now we just return to our ship. Oh, we don't have to go talk to the deserters? I guess not. Alright, well... That's a little disappointing. Eh, whatever, let's get out of here. Yeah, like I get what they're going for. They want you to feel bad and all that. But I'm like, there are options here. Like, we should be able to work out some deals... But nope. I mean, that's just going to be stubborn. Yeah, was right to leave. yeah, that's what I want to hear. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience and contemplate the scriptures. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, the scriptures of Spacer's Choice. At least they're starting to think about the fact that, you know... Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should desert. So, I have hope that maybe they'll, uh... So, R2 will get you the region map. Yeah. Okay. So, that's just, uh... Alright. Yeah, I can. The Mantis Swarm. Where's the butthole? Uh, I don't know, but there's a... Finger showing you how tiny it is. Maybe it's trying to shove it up its butthole. Yeah, I feel bad for that creature then. The finger? Yeah, me too. Uh, it's not the best. So it's essentially just the fly of the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we'll get to go see Ada. Remember Ada? Oh, yeah. We're back. Is this your ship? See? Oh, my stars. I told you you should come with so us. Handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I see you uh, happy again. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't. Welcome aboard. Without power, but 
That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spencer's yeah. choice. Don't you think about it. The company expects me back at my post. Uh, number one? Crap. I wish I had known this was gonna... I mean, I kind of suspected it might come up. Uh. Do it. Try it. I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. Yes, you have the choice. You something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? Yes. I could tend to your end. Stop talking. Yes. My yeah. Valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. We were already going to say yes. Pair of eyes watching your back. I can do that too. What do you think? Yes. You, you really didn't have to bring that much to the table. We were still going to say yes, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, number one. Yeah, just making sure there wasn't a. Uh, yep. None of the other ones are. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. <laughs> she already called us Captain. True. But it was like a one time, probably like little slip up. Now she can permanently call us that since she can't actually say our name. Hey, dude. Nice to see you finally made it. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. Oh, yeah, that is I'll the name of the ship. And claim a room. I mean,. Before gets first pick, though, I like her more than you. I still don't... <laughs> fully trust him? Yeah, I don't fully know your deal yet. Plus, she actually can contribute things to the ship. I didn't realize we still had one we hadn't picked. Uh, you can do it now if you want. Yeah, I mean, it's only one. Nice. Yeah. Not worth it. Nope. But hey, it's experience, and uh, I can sell it. <laughs> but at least everything on our ship is taken care of. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten Ooh. their demise. Thank you, Ada. You you understand us. Yeah. What can I do for you, Captain? We have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? I know no. someone who might. Oh, okay, maybe I do. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Well, perfect. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I was waiting for her to keep going. <laughs> All right, so behind you, up the ladder. Let's do this, David. Yeah. Finally go to space. And finally get some lift off. Alright. Let's let's hope I wasn't just all all talk and I do know what I'm doing. There's a check mark. There's stuff happening. Hey. You ready to fly a real ship? Let's go, Pavardi. You finally get your wish. Come, Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. That Sounds is, like a plan to me. That is smart. That's... Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Definitely do the low takeoff first to make sure we're not just going to immediately crash. Oh, this thing looks like it's going to fall apart. Yeah, I definitely see why it has that name. Oh, wow, yeah, we gotta do some work on this thing. Yeah, maybe we should have, like, looked into finding a different ship. But I like Ada. Against all odds, the Unreliable takes flight. Yeah? I don't know how long we'll be uh, taking flight. Yeah, I don't know how long we'll be in the air, but it was something. See if we uh, can crash land on another guy. I mean, that's what you do. I would have preferred if it had been Mr. Reed, but hey. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. Yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's our bro. Our crazy science guy. So yeah, number one. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. 
How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly no. normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh... <laughs> also, I can slow down time. That's a good one. Yeah. Hmm. Do I want to mention that to him? He might know more. He might know more. He's a doctor. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. I mean, it's quite useful. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Oh. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to We've get got a mission on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Ooh. Black market, huh? Sounds good to us. Let's go have a word with Gladys. Yeah. Uh, we could just uh, leave all of this behind. <laughs> we could, technically, yeah. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. Tell her not to stand by the landing. By the uh... I yes. I Captain Hawthorne, a disguise apparatus of my hmm. own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. What exactly does it do? <laughs> I mean, you can ask. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud That's what changes I thought. the user's appearance. I was like, does it change me or does it change the ship? <laughs> it has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. So with our ability to lie like nobody's business, we can also look like a... ...biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use yeah. it too long, bound to flicker... So the usual. ...something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. I... And remember... Don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. But what if I like wealth and the power? Board's only interested I know. in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going How to. How do I know that's not what you want? Like transmission ended. We've literally if had very few interactions. Back, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. All right. So captain's quarters before we set out. Ooh. Like that, you can actually see it from the. Uh... Yeah. Right. Yep. Let me go uh, retrieve this. Uh... This uh, apparatus. Plus, I don't think we've actually been in the captain's quarters, so. Uh... Very nice. Yeah. Got got a nice little view. Holographic mm. shroud. Uh, the holographic shroud predicts the skies on you and your companions that gives you access to Shredders, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Shredders are off limits to all unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Alright. Uh, definitely can see that coming in handy. I imagine, uh. Messages for Alexander. Hawthorne's unread messages. Wow, this is a lot. Yeah. Uh, from you, Bedford. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of the Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, steel. 
It's not exactly board approved, so don't you don't go showing it around to your spacer buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely intentional. Wink, wink. So I'll take you back to logs. So I guess I was. Yeah. Oh. Stupid. Okay. Archive messages. Oh wow. Uh, dearest Alex, I cannot tell you how pleased I am to finally hear from you. Your message was hilarious. I'm delighted by your sense of humor and the tale of your hijinks. I hope your terminal will cooperate for the foreseeable future. By the by, I was scrapping Groundbreaker's comms network for taste little tidbits, and I noticed you declined to dock at Edgewater's landing pad and instead touched down in the wilderness. You rugged individualist, you. I only pray that idiot Thompson doesn't give you any trouble. Anyway... I hope your meeting down on Terra 2 proves fruitful, and I look forward to corresponding with greater regularity. Your best friend, Udom. Yep, probably should have chose that regular landing pad. I don't know where you were raised, but I'd hazard a guess it may have been a barn, because anyone with even a modicum of decent rearing would know it's unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere messages of one's friends. P.S. So please respond. Hello, hello. I hope this finds you well. It was a pleasure to see you in my office again last week. Once again, I'm terribly sorry about impo the impounding mix-up. How could it have happened a second time? Terminals these days, I swear. Dreadfully unreliable. Ha, huh, just like your ship. I hope you've given some thought to that which we thing we discussed. You know, the Wells fellow. I'm sorry to press, but I have the strangest tickling feeling that you really do know him. And if you could just tell me where he is, well, it would be marvelous for our friendship, wouldn't it? Looking forward to seeing you again, Wingman. Dear Alex, hello, Udom here, Udom Bedford. We met when I accidentally impounded your ship. My silly fat finger is embarrassing me once again. I hope that wasn't too terribly inconvenient for you. It was a pleasure to meet you, and I tremendously appreciate your forbearance and not throttling me. You really are quite the gentleman. If you, you're ever in Groundbreaker's airspace, well, space space, Please don't hesitate to look me up. The Last Hope serves Spectrum Vodka. Perhaps we could try every color. You know, really tie one on. Let me know. Your new friend, Udom. Hey, I guess I should have went backwards, but oh well. Uh, okay, he at least sent one to... Look, there's no call for shouting. My terminal was busted. Had a few too many and might have knocked it off the desk. You know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta cut loose. I'm not telling you where Wells is, so lay off. Buy me a drink at the last hope next time I'm in. I might forgive you. Sure, I mean, he seemed so, so much So Udom is sucking up. Yeah. All right, uh, a couple log entries. Jesus! Wow. Note yourself, remember this later. No business. Ada, remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean, continually. No, Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? Back to my point. I saw in actuality with my own two eyes a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells's labs. What well, just sitting there for the taking. If the gray hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe. Or if I asked a smidgen more nicely, he called it a shrink ray, but wouldn't let me test the claim after I lost my temper. Said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I had heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one, Weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge, but I figured they were just stories, to be honest. Laying eyes on Wells' shrink ray firsthand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there's more to the rumors, more to be had. The last time I got sloshed, or, yeah, the last time I got sloshed, I mean, I was imbibing at the last hope on the groundbreaker. Look, Odom was really free with the drinks. He seems to li like, uh, he seems like an okay guy. I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two Mardits yammering on about a scientist some years back who claimed to have made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Like none of us have heard that one before. But here's the good part. The Mardits said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer's power or something similar. A strange weapon with a special power to create a, uh, created by a crazy lab coat sure fits the bill. It could be one, another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. Why, why, why not, well, or why won't Wells just give me this, sh this shrink ray to me? 
Blast him to the depths of Labyrinth on Tartarus and back. Let the record show. I did apologize for shouting him down five times. But architect be damned. It's just sitting there, neglected, and gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or uh, breaking expensive equipment when he said it wasn't ready yet and that even if it were, he couldn't entrust it to someone like me. What does that even mean, I ask? That I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd used it, use it to wipe out the good, hard-working folks of the colony like some sort of moralist psycho? I'll admit to maintaining some questionable associations, but I follow a strict code of me, myself, and mine. What's not to respect in that? Exactly. Now I have to wait until Wells forgets or thinks he's misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I have been tracking down additional rumors pertaining to those other, uh, to others of these science weapons throughout Halcyon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be to check the, with the black market merchants on the Groundbreaker and in Fallbrook. That is interesting to know, seeing as we're about to meet. Yeah, so there's apparently some hidden oh, science yep. weapons. We now got a mission or a quest for it. Oh. Okay, nice. I guess I'm glad we did sit through all those messages. Okay. Yeah. Ben, I guess we can put stuff in. And... A bed to sleep? Yeah. Very nice. Alright, not, not too bad, not too bad. Home, Will do, Ada. Yep, already did. Alright. Well, next time, David, we will pick our destination and head out into the wonders of space. Yeah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.